Hey guys, welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to show you how to connect a 16 by 2 character display to the Arduino. Okay, so let's get started by powering up the LCD and see if everything is working correctly. Now add the ground pin and the firewall pin to the breadboard. Okay, now connect the first pin of the LCD to the ground pin of the breadboard and connect the second pin of the display to the firewalls. Now I'm connecting the display backlight pin 16 to the ground and pin 15 to the VCC. As you can see here, I've added the power and you can see a top dotted row which uh, just indicates that everything is working correct. And I have added the 1K resistor from the pin 3 of the LCD which is a contrast pin to the ground. Okay, so let's connect the command pins RW to the ground because we are not going to read from the LCD, we are only going to write it. Connect the RS pin of the LCD to the pin 12 of the Arduino and connect the E pin which is an enable pin to the Arduino pin 11. Okay, so now let's connect the data pins D7 of the LCD to the pin 2 of the uh, Arduino. Pin D6 to pin 3, pin D5 to 4 and D4 to 5. So that's all we have to connect for this LCD to show something on the display. Okay, so now let's upload an example sketch in this Arduino. Before we get into the uploading and programming stuff, take a look at this link from Arduino where they explain everything you need to know. But the important thing is that they have given a wiring diagram so you can use that as the reference. I put the link down in the description. Okay, so let's program the Arduino. We are going to upload a pre-written code from the example section that's what the code looked like. Now I'm going to select the board and the COM port and I verify the code and uh, now I'm going to upload the code to the Arduino. Okay, so the LEDs are starting flashing and there you have it. Hello world and the bottom row is displaying the seconds. Okay guys, I hope you like this video and if you do then leaving a like will be greatly appreciated and if you have any questions, comment me down below and I will get back to you. Okay, till then, stay safe.